Hi, I'm Monte, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers, where today we figure out the best way to drink, like, out of a cup. <laughs> no, actually, we're going to figure out the best cup to drink out of. And we're not just going to make this stuff up. No, we're going to use real data. It's going to be awesome. Well, this story begins, as most of them do, at a resort and spa in Austin. And I was out there uh, teaching a cybersecurity class, and I met a really cool guy named Slade, who's also an instructor there, who gave me this contextual security cup. Eh, you know, it looks really fine, but you know what we say at Coke and Strippers. Best way to drink vodka is straight out of the bottle. Throw this away. They get lost anyway. Um, alright, so, um, I thought, sure, looks like fun. Let's compare it. Let's compare it to, you know, a paper cup. Let's compare it to a bunch of cups. Let's see if these things are any good or not. No, we're not going to just, like, put ice in it. That's for sissies. We're going to measure it with a computer and graph it and catalog it, you know, hundreds of times, thousands of times, every second. We will, we'll, we'll take another value so we can collect real data and see which of these cups are any good at all, if any. I don't actually own a Yeti cup, um, but a friend at work let me borrow hers. As she said, it's fine as long as I didn't set on fire or anything. So, um, woo! <laughs> well, now that we got that over with, So here are my collection of cups. Um, I've craftily hidden the, the logos on some of them so that they're not overly represented. I don't really own any fancy cups myself, but, well, maybe. So, regular glass tumbler. Uh, I etched the, the Gru logo, Despicable Me, Gru, right? This is a great cup. Um, here is another random vendor cup, and look, this one has extra insulation, so that's going to do really well. Um, this is my daughter's, well, no, actually it's mine, but my daughter bought it for me. Star Wars, that's cool. This is a, a Tervis, whatever. Um, this thing, all right. Uh, air contextual security. It's an Arctic. Arctic. R-T-I-C. Fantastic. And this one that I borrowed. I don't tell Lindsay. Uh, the Yeti! Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. 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 Um, so, how do you think they're going to do? I'm going to arrange them in my guess of of best to worst. Um, I think this might be the best. I like that one. And then this one has a little extra insulation. So that one, then this one, then this one, um, then these two, and that one. That's my guess. We'll see how it turns out. What's your guess? So how are we going to record all this important data? We're going to use this. These. Um, this is a Dallas DB Dallas DS 18B20 programmable resolution one wire digital thermometer. They're actually fantastic. It looks like a, just a little transistor, you know, on the end of this thing. No, of course not. It's a computer with, you know, E squared memory, RAM, the whole thing. Uh, three pins. You can actually run this thing off two pins. They call it one wire, uh, a ground, and then a data wire that it also steals power from. We're going to use all three. We're going to get power ground and a data wire. It makes it just a little easier. These things are really nice. Uh, uh, 0.5 degree C accuracy from, you know, below freezing to, to very hot. It'll do 12 bits worth of analog to digital resolution. This should be just the thing. As long as we're within a degree, we are awesome. 
So to actually run those temperature sensors, we're going to use the Humboldt Arduino Uno. Fantastic platform for just about all of your minor electronics needs. And we're also going to add this Ethernet shield. Why? Man, Ethernet and Arduino is generally a bad idea. But uh, it's got an SD card reader, writer slot on the end. And that's how we're going to store all the data. So as we read it from all those sensors, we're going to take this mini SD card and put it in there. And that way when we get done, we'll have it all on a file. So we need to have seven sensors, one for each of the cups. Uh, we can use a single uh, sense pin on the Arduino to read all of those. Uh, they will all go on a single bus. So we're going to wire them all together using these. I like these servo extension cords. They're cheap and easy to use. Be careful if you mess with, with these little boards you can get like that. Those pins there on the end, they don't go straight through. They actually cross over on the board. Uh, had me confused for a minute when I first started using these things. Here we are back in the above ground lair. We've got the, sorry for the noise, we've got the uh, uh, pink booth going. We want to try to keep the fluids out of these things. So I've got this uh, nice seal coat uh, to, uh, to coat the electronics, insulator, red urethane. Wait a minute. Red? Crap. No, I thought it was clear. Alright, here we are back in the paint booth. We have some special coating to protect electronics from liquids. This is called Pylon Color Master Acrylic Crystal Clear. So let's give it all a coat. Uh, that goes on easy. Hey, and it's clear. We should be able to see through it. So for the procedural part, I don't want to put ice cubes in there. Ice cubes are, you know, sort of random sizes and weights. We're just going to use uh, a cold liquid. Uh, we'll put the same amount in each of them and then we'll see what the temperature curve looks like over time. I want to suspend uh, the temperature sensor in the middle of the cup so it's not touching the sides or, or the bottom. But next I got to figure out how to do it, how to hold those uh, temperature sensors in place so that they don't move around. So here's what I've come up with. Use one of my favorite tools, hot glue. Use some hot glue and popsicle sticks and we'll set these uh, temperature sensors uh, to be suspended inside the liquids without touching any of the cups. Got all these glued in place, um, suspended, the sensors are. We just plugged up our data collection platform. We see a graph in here in the background. Looks like they're all within a degree or so. Close enough, we could post process it, but I think it's close enough. All right, so here's the plan. Cold liquid. And we're going to do a cup at a time. So there is one cup. I'm going to let this one cool for just a second and then I will pour it out just so there's not any, any difference by this cup being like warmer than anything else. So that's a few seconds. Let's toss this and away we go. There is cup number one. And to the sensor number one, oh, we see it drop very quickly. Leave this within a few seconds of each other. A few seconds are okay. Look, a minute or two is going to be all right. Um, this one is blue. So if you want to trace the line, there we go, blue. 
if you can see those line colors. If not, we'll pose, we'll, we'll, we'll do graphs afterwards. But, all right, blue, blue. Meh. All right, what do we have next? One cup. Oh, we see red go. I'll mark red. So I can keep up with it. There's red. One cup. There we go. And this one is... See that line drop? G R E E N. Green. And one more cup. Goes here. And that one is a brown tan. Tan, yellow, brown, tan, yellow, yellow. See all the time in kindergarten learning colors? You were actually doing science. All right, we're preparing for science. One more cup. Into the Yeti. The Yeti's this light purple color. Another cup. Into the Arctic. That's this gray color. And finally, my pick for the winner. We'll see if this holds. One cup. And that one is light blue. It's time to sit back and wait. This is my assumption that, you know, worst to best, um, and, you know, it's a little early yet, but it looks like that might really be the worst. I mean, it seems to have risen a lot more than any of the others. It's way up here. All right, well, let's give this a while. The results are in based on real data. We don't make this crap up. All right, so let's take a look. Here are the graphs. Uh, and we start with, uh, this is from this is from worst to best. This is, it, this is the greatest temperature gain as we go up. Uh, and we see this top line up here is blue. And it's the worst by a long shot. Um, the blue cup is this plain glass grew blue cup. And I called it right. I expected that to be the worst. It is the worst by far. All right, back to our graph. So we have blue. And then next we have red. And once again, I called it, this is the, uh, the glass, you know, uh, insulated little green lady cup. Um, yeah, not second worst. All right, next we have from blue to red, we have yellow. Yellow. 
that's a bit of a surprise. That's this one with the extra thermal mass, you know. I don't know what it is, but um, it, it actually performs a little worse. Okay, so the next worse is we've got blue, we've got red, we've got yellow, we have green. And that's its body. So that's not entirely surprising. Um, although green perform perhaps very slightly better than yellow. So we have blue, red, yellow, green, light blue. Light blue. Let's see which one of these was light blue. Oh, wait. Was it Turvis? Turvis? So, you know, I expected that to be the best. I, I just did. I'm way wrong. Its performance is mm, just about like these paper cups. <laughs> There's not a lot of difference in that graph. Hmm. Oh, well, you can't win them all. All right, so we have blue, we have red, we have yellow, we have green, we have light blue, we have purple. We have purple. The next worse is this Yeti cup. And significantly better than the purple, we have gray, we have the uh, uh, Arctic cup. Now, I, you know, I did call the Arctic better than the Yeti, but it, it, I said this provides additional insulation. I really thought they'd be about the same. You know, same kind of design, although the, the shapes and, and, and construction are slightly different. But this Arctic uh, outperformed the outperformed the Yeti. So, anyway, now you know. Now you know the truth. Now you know what it's really like. Be sure to tell your friends that your paper cups aren't so bad, and they're better than 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 some of these fancy cups. Um, and the best performer is the Arctic. And glasses, glass, 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 really sucks. If you had fun today, I did. Give the thumbs up, like it, share it, tell your friends, subscribe, all those things so that we can do more of these. And don't forget the most important part, spend all your money on Coke and strippers. Ouch, hot glue is hot.